Hi, it's Ivan from the EV Stock Channel here. Global sales numbers for Tesla and other EV manufacturers are in for the month of September, so let's get straight into them. As always, all content in this video is our opinion only. We do not recommend buying or selling any financial instruments. So let's get started with news that Tesla has achieved a new record of 97,000 deliveries in Q3 of 2019. Model 3 sales in the United States continue their uptrend with 19,100 deliveries for the month. On the other hand, Model S deliveries were on the lower side when comparing to the final month of the quarter for Model S but overall sales look steady. And we see a similar thing happening with the Model X. However, sales numbers are trending up since the start of the year. Where things really start to get interesting is when you compare the two models. Here we can see the Model S and X on the same chart, and we can see that in the first three months, US sales were pretty similar. However, since April, there has been a significant divergence. Model S have been relatively steady, while the Model X has been increasing, which leads me to think that this could be due to the cannibalization of the Model S by the Model 3. And while some people may be concerned by this, I think it's brilliant that Tesla's focus isn't on preservation of older models, but making new models in the best way possible. And here's a number that didn't get much attention. 79,837 Model 3s produced in Q3. So why do I think this number is so significant? Well, it's because Tesla has continuously increased the production capacity of the Model 3, in which they averaged production of 6,141 Model 3s per week, which is 562 more than during Q2. When we look at total production, we can see that Tesla hit another record, in which they produced 96,155 total vehicles in Q3, which is more than 9,000 more than during Q2. So while the media have been reporting that this has been a bad quarter due to Tesla not being able to deliver 100,000 vehicles, I see the total opposite. New record for Model 3 production, new record for total production, and a new record for total deliveries. Not to mention record net orders in Q3 and the fact that Tesla is entering Q4 with an increase in their order backlog. Looking at the US EV market as a whole, we can see that again, the Model 3 is in a league of its own. Where things really get interesting is when you compare the Model 3 to the top selling sedans like the Toyota Camrys and the Honda Civics. And stay tuned as we'll be making an entire episode about this topic. Anyways, props to the Chevy Bolt for being the second best selling EV in the US during September and looking at its yearly sales, we can see that they have been pretty consistent. While the Audi e-tron has experienced four straight months of sales decline, so things are not looking too good. And we conclude with the Jaguar I-Pace selling only 160 vehicles for the second month in a row, which equates to a paltry five sales per day in the USA. And the only way I can see Jaguar improving sales is if they lower their price, but we'll see what they do. And that concludes the US market. And now moving on to China. And all indications are that we are getting close to the start of production at the Shanghai Gigafactory. We have heard that Tesla will no longer be accepting orders for standard range Model 3s after the 13th of October. We are seeing leaked videos of production line testing, trial productions within the Tesla Shanghai Gigafactory, and even a Model 3 on a test track that could be one of the first Model 3s produced in China. So in my opinion, production may just start towards the end of October if all these reports are accurate. In terms of sales, we don't yet have September's figures, but August was another great month in which approximately 1,500 Model 3s were delivered. So all in all, big things happening in China and production could start any week now and way sooner than anyone could have thought. Moving on to Europe, and starting with Norway, in which the Model 3 delivered 2,342 Model 3s, slightly less than the June figures, but still very strong delivery numbers. And extending the Model 3's lead as the top selling vehicle in Norway, which now accounts for one in every five new car sales. Another thing I came across that I thought was worth mentioning was that in Norway, we have had reports that the first gas station has replaced all their gas pumps with electric chargers. And when I further looked into the story, I came across the first gas station in the United States that has ditched gas pumps for electric chargers in Tacoma Park, Maryland. And it's inevitable that this is just the beginning 
and I look forward to the day when we get news that the last gas station has closed down or become fully electric. Now, check out the sales numbers from the Netherlands. 5,768 for the month of September. Are you kidding me? These are staggering numbers. The Tesla Model 3 now accounts for 40% of all new EV sales throughout 2019 and has become the best selling car in the Netherlands. I was actually contacted by Stefan, who is from the Netherlands, and mentioned that the reason for the spike in Model 3 sales is due to the incentives that the government is providing for EVs under 50,000 euros before the end of the year. So sales in the next few months could be quite large. And because the sales numbers are so massive, once the ships arrive into the docks, the cars are not even sent to dealers. Instead, when collecting your car, you go to the dock, and in a five minute process, which includes signing one document and searching for your license plate, you simply just drive away with your new Model 3. So it's pretty incredible what measures Tesla is taking to deliver the large numbers of Model 3s. So again, thank you Stefan for providing this information and photo. Now moving on to Italy, in which we can see the Model 3 was also the best selling EV in the month of September. So as we can see, it doesn't matter which country we look at, we usually see the Model 3 as a top selling EV or in the top two or three. And like many other countries, we can see that sales have been the strongest in the final months of each quarter. Moving on, Tesla delivered 1,516 Model 3s in Germany, which was the second best delivery number for the year. But when you think about it, these numbers are not that large. And in my opinion, this will be Tesla's hardest market to crack in Europe as there is significant competition from multiple German auto manufacturers. So while things are not easy for Tesla, the main German auto brands are seeing shrinking market share in the premium sedan market due to the Model 3. And it'll be interesting to see who out of Audi, BMW and Mercedes will challenge Tesla for the premium midsize sedan market going forward. Meanwhile in France, the Renault Zoe has taken top spot for the month of September with the Model 3 trailing in second. And when looking at 2019 as a whole, you can see just how popular the Renault Zoe is in France. And out of curiosity, any viewers from France, I'd love to get your feedback on the Zoe and how you guys see the Model 3. And to answer Stefan's question if the Audi e-tron has had any sales in France due to its unfortunate name, the answer is yes. They are averaging 43 sales per month. So there you have it. Now, Model 3s have been quite steady in Switzerland, but more impressively, the Model 3 is the fifth best selling vehicle and has a new service center which used to belong to Porsche. So we are seeing the transition and future play out right in front of our eyes where fossil fuels are giving way to smarter clean technology. Moving on to the second biggest car market in Europe, the UK, in which we saw the Model 3 take third spot in UK car sales back in August when they delivered 2,028 Model 3s. Well, September rolled around and it was an even better month with 2,864 deliveries. So another new Model 3 hungry market has just opened up in Europe. And it'll be interesting to see if this is just a flash in the pan or will we see continued strong demand in the UK over the next few months. Not to mention, Model 3 sales have also started in Ireland and we hope to have some delivery numbers soon. So to round out Europe, we can see that in Sweden, Denmark and Belgium, the Model 3 has had its usual strong third month of the quarter. And we see the same in Spain, Portugal, and Austria. And yes, we'll be covering these markets in more detail in future episodes. In Australia, Model 3 delivery started in September, and we are already getting estimates of around 1,500 Model 3 deliveries, and similar amounts estimated for October. Even the Tesla chair Robin was in Sydney, Australia, helping deliver Model 3s. So a lot to be excited about in the land down under. So that's all for this episode and we are trying our best to get as many delivery numbers as possible and lay it out in the most enjoyable and visual way. The plan is to keep expanding these episodes to include other EV manufacturers. The one country I could not find was Canada, so if anyone knows of any sites with Canadian EV sales numbers, please let us know. So keep in mind, this is still a new channel and we have way more ideas that we can make episodes about. And I can tell you that some big things are being worked on in the background and I can't wait to share them with you in the near future. Also, a huge thank you to our Patreons and in particular Vladimir. Your support is really helping accelerate the amount of content that we can produce and share. And again, thank you Stefan for sharing your information. So till next time, I'll see you guys soon.